Hey guys, MTG Noob here, giving you a post uh, FNM wrap up. Uh, you probably saw what I opened by now. Uh, I'm gonna show you the deck I played. Excuse me, you can see some of my floor, so you can get a little bit more light. Okay, so I went black, green, splash, red. Uh, after a bunch of combinations, I really wanted to play red because I opened a Tybalt, a Zealous Conscript, and some Decent Burn, but it just was not supportive enough. I also liked my blue, but it was a bunch of spells and not enough guys. My white kind of sucked. So, I'll go over spells first. Abundant Growth for Fixing. Joint Assault, just because it's awesome. Splash card number one, Pillar of Flames. Human Frailty which did make it in the main deck because pretty much every color has at least a human that you want to kill. Okay, and then Angel's Tomb, which in this deck I didn't feel was very good. I had uh, at least 16 creatures, so I wound up cutting this throughout the night, but I know it's a decent card, but I didn't think I could make it as good as I would like to. And finally, a Death Wind, which was good. So those were my six non-creature spells. Um, and here are my creatures. Just in casting cost or order, not color order. I'm not very organized if you didn't know that about me. Butcher Ghoul. Crypt Keeper. Or Creeper, excuse me. Nightshade Peddler. Borderland Ranger. Bloodflow Connoisseur, which, you know, I'm a big fan of. Demonic Taskmaster, which, in case you didn't know, is freaking amazing. Uh, you just don't want to play it in a very aggro deck, because then you're going to have to keep feeding it one drops and two drops, but it's pretty good with undying things, and it's pretty good with, uh, on its own, and I really like that card. Searchlight Geist, which is decent, a 2-1 flyer for 3 in black is fair, and it gets Death Touch, so that's always nice. Nettle Swine, 4-3 for 4. Okay, this guy I'm not super sold on, Norstad Scrapper. He's okay, he's colorless, so he kind of fit my deck better. Uh, you Spirit, who I definitely like, especially if you soul bound him or soul bind him with somebody. Marrow Bats, which is a decent blocker uh, if you're able to keep your life sustainable. Renegade Demon. Obviously, my other red splash was for Zealous Conscripts, which won me a few games. There was a very sweet play I'll tell you about after. And then two Pathbreaker Worm, 6 4, Soulbound Trample. Malfed Twins, and Howlgeist. And one of the cards, if you saw my video from earlier, that you might wonder, well, hey, where the hell is it? Gristlebrand did not make the cut. I felt that it would be a liability at quad black and cost eight. Um, however, I'll tell you about that in a second. Okay, so the sweet play was my opponent had... Uh, his own Malfor uh, Malfed Twins, and he had uh, the 3-1 enchantment that gives lifelink if you have one creature. So I had this in play, uh, a bunch of dudes, and I ended up stealing his Malfed Twins, and then after combat swinging in, and then just sacking it to my Bloodflow Connoisseur, and ending up with his Malfed Twins dead, and my two two zombies, two of them. Um, okay, and then I ended up going 3-1. I had a first round bye, which was nice, because I got there a little bit late, and um, I was able to toy with my deck a little bit more. And another thing is uh, I got crushed by a green uh, red deck that had, uh, you know, the giant... 4-4 four, four, Wolfier guy, and just a lot of good soulbound creatures. But when everything was said and done, um, I ended up making and playing a deck that I thought might be good with Gristlebrand. So I'll show you that now. Um, I had it in order, but it's going to be a little bit out of order. Uh, so obviously, 
it played Gristle Brand, and if it stuck and didn't get killed, it would win. Uh, it was blue-black, so I basically kept all of the black from before. So I'm just putting, relaying these cards back out for you to see. Um, and I did add Grave Exchange, which I'm not super sold on. I think it's okay. Um, and then for the blue, I had Latch Seeker, two of the Galvanic Alchemist, Mist Raven, uh, Griff Vanguard, and then a bunch of spells, uh, Ghostly Flicker, Crippling Chill, Mass the Components, <laughs> three Vanishment, which is why I really wanted to play blue. And I'm pretty sure I played this bum. But, um, I played one game against a really good player, and I was down to two life, or one life, and I stuck Gristlebrand, and then I got an attack with it, and, you know, the game is over, and the next game I just stalled out with a bunch of banishments, kind of, in a sense, time-walking him till I landed Gristlebrand, and he couldn't deal with it. Um, I ended up going 3-1, getting, uh, two packs, but I actually used my store credit towards something else which I'll tell you in the next video. So as always, thanks for watching and please subscribe.